July 8th to the 14th of 2024. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, also, uh, speaking of support, if you guys would like to support the project, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal is my book about my journey as a teacher during my time in the classroom in K-12 and preschool classrooms i would really appreciate it if you have supported thank you and if you are considering thank you in advance so let's get into the overall astrological overview of the week so this week if you work a nine to five if you have a business whatever you're doing uh in regards to money the work week is going to kick off with an explosion of inspired and innovative and innovative ideas okay this is going to be the week for solving problems the energy is going to be right for solving problems okay monday is going to be a great day for brainstorming as a team overall two heads are better than one uh after this frenzy of activity and this energy uh that bursts burst and starts the week off on monday midweek around about wednesday you're gonna use that energy to burn the midnight oil and to actually try to produce things or finish up things that you've been working on at the beginning of the week or closing out last week, this is a good time to do that on Wednesday, okay? Focus on shifting things to the softer side of life on Thursday. Instead of work, 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 try to relax and focus on romance, family, adventure, whatever it is, expanding your horizons on Thursday, okay? Uh, you might be feeling like on Thursday that you have an abundance of ideas that are overflowing. You might have a passion for poetry, literature, whatever it is. Finishing up projects, do that. On Friday is the day to get back to get back in line. Okay, basically, don't try to go against authority figures or the structure because it's going to backfire on you. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, Friday and Saturday, I. I'll say Saturday for the most part is going to be a good day to kind of sort of go with the flow, okay? Sunday, be careful because petty arguments could flare up leading to hurt feelings, okay? So keep that in mind. So on Sunday, avoid dating, whether it's a new relationship, a blind date, or even with an established romantic partner avoid sunday for that okay because you could be trying to be in the energy of trying to control things and other people are not going to be going for it on sunday okay so some really good tips for a five-star week take care of business on monday and dedicate thursday to love and romance i say that because on thursday we're going to have venus and cancer and it's going to try trying neptune and pisces so basically you're going to have the energy of fairy godmother appearing to help you turn something a negative into a positive or help spruce up your romantic life so you might meet someone sporadically or you might be introduced to someone to go on a blind date you might rekindle your relationship your romantic relationship with others okay with another person okay so thursday is to assist you in your quest for romance so if you're up for that cool if not take it with a grain of salt okay so that's the overall astrological overview for the collective we're going to get into the astro cards the tarot and then a bonus or message okay all right guys so let's see here this is my holy spirit what additional energies will the collective be working with for july 8th to the 14th uh, 2024 as always guys come back and see how the reading resonated with you during the week or in your workplace or whatever with people you know come back and see how it resonated okay so let's see all right now let's see here we have <laughs> you can't make this up though. see Venus love beauty harmony romance charm receiving sensuality luxury wealth diplomacy magnetism value pleasure adornment adoration attraction indulgence taste and style coming out swinging now all right 
Jupiter expansion. Okay. Enthusiasm, optimism, generosity, benevolence, belief, love, seeking travel, positivity, lectures, foreign cultures, teaching, pilgrimage, chance, expansion, leaping, exploration, and potential. So, like I told y'all, there is the potential to meet someone this week. So, that's confirmed with Venus and Jupiter. All right. Anything else for the collective? And for those of y'all who are not ro seeking romance, it could be meeting a new friend. But here we go again, moving feelings, emotions, instinct, nurturing, good reactions, comfort, digestion, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotion, sustenance, self-soothing, moods, and mother. Okay. All right. Additional messages. The 11th house. Friendship, group, creativity, community. Humanity, hope, tribe, festivals, discoveries, common goals, start rebellion, experimentation in the future. So that's innovation as well. Okay. All right. What other energies? Leo, the lover, they go that love thing. Expressive, creative, loving, playful, warm, overt, self confident, flirtatious, glowing, bedazzling, extroverted, vital, guileless, egotistical, juicy, proud, trusting, and excessive. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Additional messages for this week of July 8th to the 14th Mars action. Desire, impulses, courage, force, heart, strength, competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, patience, anger, leadership, en engine, potency, willpower, motor, edge drive. That energy is going to be working <laughs> with the collective as well. Or should I say the collective will be experiencing those energies. All right. One final card here. The sixth house craft work details remember i told you this energy this week most of it beginning of the week to the middle of the week focus is focused on work details uh health well-being diet service daily rituals contribution organization purification skills apprenticeship and methods okay that's interesting overall energy can be <laughs> neptune dreams Imaginations, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. So there's going to be a lot of that. Pay attention to your dreams as well during this week. Okay. Getting a lot of seven of cups energy along with that moon energy so your dreams are going to be important would they be your actual sleeping dreams daydreams whatever ideas you have they're going to be important during this week okay let's see here messages additional messages for the collective for the week of july 8th to the 14th of 2020 oh Starting out, we got temperance, six of wands, five of cups, the chariot. Remember, I told you guys the chariot energy is ripe for moving forward. The eight of swords. Some of y'all have an anxiety. The death card. Don't worry, you just got new beginnings coming in. A lot of y'all have a lot of anxiety. For some of y'all, depression, like I told you, new ideas are coming forward. The star card, healing, okay? 
interesting so i feel like overall y'all are moving forward but it takes patience it takes uh being steadfast in your journey whether it be on work in terms of work just life period i feel like a lot of y'all have these victories but sometimes you feel like you having setbacks concerning love relationships concerning work concerning your overall emotional well-being spirit is letting you know whatever you have been going through or battling whether it be physically emotionally it's not in vain okay you're going to be moving forward even though you feel like you're trapped or you're stuck or you can't see a way out of something you don't know the transformation uh is coming around the corner for you it's like you're on the last go around of a cycle that almost wore you out literally with the eight of swords and the death card and i feel like the whole time when you're going through whatever cycle or whatever tribulations or perceived obstacles that you guys are going through you didn't know that spirit had your back the whole time because in the center of the reading i see it's like you guys whatever it is you've been going through you're flanked by the chariot and the death card i feel like that spirit your ancestors your guys telling you hey i've had your hand the whole time okay no matter what you were going through when you thought that everything was lost or you were going through these trials and tribulations or whatever the case may be spirit was preparing you to move forward to get this in the beginning but a lot of y'all i feel like you're still healing you don't think you've done enough when spirit is clearly telling you you're okay you've done enough you're getting over whatever this is that has been bothering you what has what you perceive to have been flanking you and holding you down or causing obstacles a lot of the times it could be your own thoughts whether they be on the negative end or thinking things will go wrong when they're really not it's just life life and okay with the ace of wands here i feel like this is you guys getting a new beginning and really getting new ideas for some of y'all have your aha moment spiritual epiphany whatever that may mean to you is different for everybody on everyone's different personal journeys okay but a new beginning nevertheless for some of y'all this is a new beginning for a project business um getting a new job getting a new idea for a product that you can launch whatever it is spirit is saying to letting you know that you have to go ahead and things are going to be moving forward for you even doesn't even if it doesn't seem like it right now you might be getting that uh someone to help you out as a fairy godmother okay or a fairy godfather okay tell you how it resonates for you all right somebody's gonna something's gonna come through to help push you along on your journey okay all right let's see here let's close it out all right this is my holy spirit what additional message or messages do you have for the collective for the week of july 8th to the 14th of 2024 for some of y'all y'all might need to go and listen to the song by frankie beverly and maybe it's called reaching down inside i feel like that explains a lot of what you guys may have been experiencing just throughout your journey all together and i really feel like spirit is telling you keep moving forward and keep grounding yourself in order for you to move forward into this new cycle okay the card that came out for the collective was birch number four let's see i really think that talks about grounding yourself but we'll see okay let's see here birch birch trees are old sacred woods that are believed to heal emotional wounds, ward off negative influences, and banish fears. They're also associated with new beginnings, making them the perfect energy to channel for healing old wounds and welcoming new connections. Birch may come to a reading when you are feeling vulnerable, afraid, and unsupported. You may be feeling the need to hide away from the world to lick your wounds. If you have experienced trauma or hardship lately, Know that extra support is being provided for you and that you are protected while you take this time to heal. The worst has passed and soon you will be able to pick up any broken pieces and put yourself together again. Only stronger and more beautiful. Additionally, Birch comes to you as a gentle reminder to build 
better boundaries, but not by closing your heart. Traumatic events can harden the spirit, leaving you jaded and spiteful. Do not let your circumstances prevent you from connecting to others or from taking calculated risks. You may have some deep wounds and brutal bruises, but those will heal in time, and you will be stronger for it. Give yourself space to process, heal, and let go, knowing it will be safe for you to open your heart again. If you would like to participate in this heart tapping practice that they have, you can do this. Okay, so I'm going to read it. So it says, this practice is a simple and effective way to access your heart space and address any emotions you may be holding on to that you could cause your heart to harden. As you tap your heart or your chest, set intention on amplifying spirit in this area, calling on energy to heal and soothe the heart space. Place your right hand over your heart with your middle finger at the center. With your eyes closed and breathing relaxed, gently tap all five fingers in unison for one minute. Then tap in a wave motion starting from pinky to pointer finger at a steady pace for another minute. Breathe deeply. For a final minute, tap all five fingers in unison. Slowly, this time, taking a deep breath in and letting a breath out on alternating taps. When you are done, hold both hands to your heart and be still for as long as you need. So if you want to participate in that, that's the ritual, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.